One of the biggest myths that's, that's problematic now is the, the notion that cholesterol is related to heart disease. And it's not. And by the way, that's not my opinion. That's an academic fact. There was a Russian medical doctor by the name of Ufi Ravenskov, who years ago did a meta-analysis of all of the research ever published on cholesterol and heart disease. And his findings, which are correct, are there's no relationship between cholesterol and heart disease. Let me say that again. There's no relationship between cholesterol and heart disease. It does not exist. Cholesterol, as it turns out, is so important to the human body that your liver makes it. If you don't consume enough cholesterol in your diet, your liver will generate cholesterol all by itself. That's how important it is. 95% of the part of the brain that's affected by Alzheimer's is made from cholesterol. 75% of your brain and your central nervous system is made from cholesterol. The wall of every cell in the body is made from cholesterol. All of your sex hormones are made from cholesterol. Cholesterol is extremely important. And conventional medical doctors have gotten this wrong from day one. And this is an interesting, also a very interesting thing to look at objectively. When you put on a graph the incidence of Alzheimer's disease and the introduction of statin drugs, which are cholesterol-lowering medications, they parallel each other almost exactly. And I and a number of my colleagues are of the opinion that Alzheimer's disease is a physician-created disease which is driven by the uh, prescription of statin drugs to bring people's cholesterol down and the advocacy of low-fat diets. Um, these things are bad. These recommendations are bad. They are not consistent with the science. They are consistent with you know, the pharmaceutical agenda, because statin drug sales, uh, I mean, are in excess of $20 billion a year now. And that ocean liner is going to take a long time to turn around. And that's one myth.